This tutorial will present the playout feature of the CG. This feature allows you to display video materials that can be controlled from Live Manager and it can play seamless, a lists of AVI clips. Magic Soft CG allows you to play over materials with any width and height but the frame rate must be the same as the selected video mode of the CG. The clips can have uncompressed audio but because of the hardware limitations, the sound of the materials can be outputted only if the card is set for external keying mode. The supported types of video compressions are, DV compression, motion JPEG, uncompressed 24-bit without alpha channel, uncompressed 32-bit with alpha channel. We will start this example by making a video project. After clicking on new project button, we will choose video type from the wizard dialog. After creating the project, a corresponding entry will appear in the projects list. The item that will display the content is already inserted in the project. We will also start the Live Manager application in order to be able to control the playlist. We will insert several of the clips, with Alpha Channel, in the Live Manager's playlist. After selecting one of the clips from the list and clicking Play, the playout process will begin. The elapsed playing time is shown by the corresponding progress bar. The content of the clips will be displayed in the CG's preview window. The video playout item behaves very similar to an image item, except the image provider is not a file chosen by the user, but the video content. Besides that, the video playout item has an extra option for deinterlacing in order to avoid resizing artifacts. The position can be changed by item dragging in preview or by editing the corresponding values from position group. The item can be scaled and the interlacing algorithm will ensure the best quality. Draw area can be used for limiting the visibility of the item by establishing limits for displaying the item. If you want to have the item displayed in perspective, you need to activate the 3D mode by checking the corresponding option. The management of the playlist can be made from a control area of the Live Manager application. The control contains a title bar showing the name and the status of the project, buttons to control the on-air status of the project, a graph bar showing the progress of the current clip, a playlist grid that contains several columns showing clip status, the current playing one is green, the next is orange, path and the name of the clip, the action to be taken at the end of the corresponding clip, checkboxes for disabling the sound and looping the entire list, control buttons that acts over the selected clip for play, stop, pause, set next or park, up down buttons for changing the position of the selected clip, load save buttons that allows you to load or save a playlist, add delete buttons for inserting, deleting clips in the list, button to resize the control area as necessary.